Hi, my name is Robbie Samuels, and I'm a virtual event design consultant and executive Zoom producer. And today, I'm going to show you how to move a participant from the breakout rooms back to the main room. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to breakout rooms. And you will see here, we'll just recreate this, and I'll zoom in. So let's say we don't want Buzz to be in these breakout rooms. And I, if I know this before the rooms open, I could always uncheck Buzz so that they don't get sent to the breakout rooms. But when you've got dozens, if not hundreds of people, you may not have noticed that. And so now all the rooms open and Buzz gets swept up into the breakout rooms, which is not what you intended. So now your option is to move Buzz. So notice you can move Buzz to room two, room three, or back to the main session. So I choose back to the main session, and a moment later, Buzz is now back in the main room with me. So one use case that I can think of for this is that when I produce um, single day or multiple day conferences, I encourage my clients to do a 30 minute um, break between sessions and spend 20 of those minutes where people are randomly sent to breakout rooms and then 10 minutes with a countdown slide, which is an actual no activity, no fear of missing out break. But occasionally that means that the speaker for the next session might get swept up into those breakout rooms when I need them to be in the main room with me. And so rather than going into those rooms and trying to like discreetly tell them the, to exit and trying to explain to them how to click the button and all of that, um, you can just pull them back into the main room. Now, I would be very cautious about how you use this feature, moving people to between rooms or moving people, because um, you know I could also move Blue to room two and Shy to room two, but you know if they were in the middle of a conversation, they're not gonna like it. It's like a virtual whiplash. So be very careful about, um, about this idea that you're gonna just move people around willy-nilly but there are some use cases where it can be handy to be able to pull people from a breakout room and back into the main room. I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you soon.